Good morning. It is your morning minute on 5280 Sports Network. I'm Sean Drotar. This is Jake Marsing as Nate, Lund Nate Lundy's out. He's, you know, getting married, so that's a good reason not to be here. But uh, we look at the scene around Denver today. It is the NBA draft today. The Rockies lost one game. Uh, I'll touch on the Rockies really quick. It's one game. It, it, sometimes when you get blown out like they did by Arizona, that's easy to crumple that one up and say, let's go get them the next day. I think for the Rockies, unless it becomes a trend, and keep in mind that after today's game, which close the series, they will go face the Dodgers, who are now in first place. But I, I'm just not panicking about the Rockies yet. No, and you shouldn't be, Sean. It's a one game in a 162-game season. It's not like the Rockies are all of a sudden on a downward trajectory. You're going to have bad games. You almost want to have bad games at some points. I think the Rockies come out today. They win this series against the Diamondbacks. They move to L.A. and they retake, potentially, the lead in the division. I said on the show a little bit earlier just how great it is to have the Rockies be relevant this late into the season. We're not talking about who's going to be the third tight end or the second long snapper on the Broncos. We're talking about the Colorado Rockies being a division contender, and that's always great. I'll be down today at Tap 14 off 1920 Blake Street, right at the roof of Haters and Company. We'll be recording the Blake Street Irregulars Rockies podcast. Uh, Ryan Edwards uh, will be following and joining, and we're following this show, and then be joining us. So uh, we'll come on out, say hi, get yourself a drink, and avoid the traffic. So do that as well. I uh, would touch real quickly on the Denver Nuggets. The draft is tonight. Jake, you expect them to trade back? I think they, I think they will, and I think that's probably the smartest move. They have options in the teens and early 20s that they can get, and it's not like the Nuggets need enough. Another 19, 20, 21 year old kid to find minutes for. They need maybe a defensive minded forward. There's some needs that they certainly have, but with Jamal Murray, uh, uh, Nikola Jokic, Juancho Hernan Gomez, Gary Harris, Malik Beasley, the list goes on and on and on of these early 20s guys that they still are trying to find minutes for. The last thing they need is to throw another one of those into the mix. I think they know that. I think they'll look to trade back, potentially add a veteran piece in a trade as well. I would be genuinely surprised if the Nuggets stay at 13 tonight. Make sure you go to 5280 Sports Network and check out everything we have there, including this afternoon. We'll have an opportunity to give uh, to get you a, a recording of our interview with Josh Kroenke of the Denver Nuggets, who, will, as we sit in the studio, will be recording with us in about 30 minutes. So we'll have him on. And uh, make sure you check that out as well. So we'll have that at 5280 Sports Network. All the other stuff there, Jake's content. Ryan Green's content. He's the guy with the camera. So we'll be back tomorrow uh, with the same thing as always because we're here for you with everything that's going on in Denver sports. This is the Morning Minute. It's 5280 Sports Network.